Believe it or not, what I'm holding is a foldable kayak. It assembles in a matter of minutes and is extremely lightweight. It's like 20 pounds. We all know that some fishing kayaks can be in the thousands, and I can't afford that. So for $400, how will this origami kayak do as I test its speed, stability, and fishing there ability? Oh, there's the best. Yes, 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 yes. Whew. All right, before we get started, I want to give a quick thank you to Christy for letting me borrow your kayak. Hopefully I don't end up breaking it by the end of today. And also a quick shout out to fellow fisherman and content creator, Tackle to the People. It was on his channel where I actually found out that this thing even existed. So I'll leave his channel down below. You guys go check him out, support him. And above all, glory to God for anything that happens today, whether we sink or we catch some big fish. On the website of this kayak company, they said you could set it up in two minutes. So I'm gonna try it out. Got my timer right here. I've only set this thing up once. Aaron, who you saw from last video, he's gonna help me try and set this up because I can't just do it by myself. So we're gonna pull it apart. I know right now you're looking at this and you're like, that looks like a piece of cardboard, Ryan. But trust me, when we get this thing set up, it looks like an actual kayak. First step is to come over here. This is the tail end. As you can see, we got our rudder here. Apparently, we just go ahead and bend it, and we take this thing and put it on that latch, and boom, that's already ready. Aaron just did the same thing over here. Now we come to the side, and we grab it like this, take this metal thing, and uh, come on. Don't make me look bad, kayak. There we go. And then we just put in this pin. I'm really curious if this thing is gonna leak at all. Super easy. The guy in the video made it look a lot simpler though. Now we come over here to the side and apparently you just take this latch and you pull. Oh, you pull until you can do that. Repeat the same process and there it is. That's our kayak right there. It's extremely light. It's like 20 pounds. Now we take these foam thingies. I'm not sure what these are for, maybe to keep a stable, but also it could just be for comfort. And take this string, put it right there. Now we just take our seat, boom, and put it right there. Time check. If I could find my phone. Uh-oh, here we go. Your boy didn't even set a timer. <laughs> that is something I would definitely do on accident, but I'm just gonna assume that was pretty quick. Definitely less than three minutes. You know, I was thinking, what fun is it if we're just fishing for fishing? We got a little bit of people today, so let's have ourselves a 2v2, biggest bass wins. All right, I'm Justin. I'm Hunter. And we're fishing out of a 16 foot John boot, and I feel like we're gonna win this battle. Because top water is good. Hey, it's your boy Ryan. I'm Michael. And I think we're gonna win today because we're fishing on some unconventional fishing crafts. They're gonna have that mega head start and they're not gonna catch anything. <laughs> we're about to turn this kayak into a luxury item, as if it's not already. But if you guys know me, I love bringing a lot of rods. So once again, I got my custom PVC rod holder. I should be able to just slide it in. Oh yeah, that fits perfectly. Take big cast number one, slide it in there. Two and three, we'll go ahead and join. And look at that. It already looks like one of those fancy $5,000 kayaks. I'm just kidding. Take my bag that's full of all my stuff. I'm just gonna push it up in there. And that way I have no leg room because you guys know leg room is bad. See, I'm glad this thing doesn't weigh 5,000 pounds because Michael and I, we ain't super strong. Safety first, obviously. Okay, let's get you boys in. There you go. Aaron is in the water now. You got it. There it is. Alrighty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my shoes, obviously. <laughs> Who leaves their shoes on? Put him in. The boys are already out there in the water. Looks like Michael's struggling a bit. And I'm, oh dear. Dude, as soon as my foot went down, the whole thing kind of just folded. Oh Lord, please don't let this sink. I'm really hoping that I didn't forget to cover a crucial step in the assembling of this thing. Wow, it tracks water really well. All right, speed test. We got Aaron, who is about 100 yards in front of me. Let me see as I'm just splashing water all over my camera gear, if I can catch up to him. What's up, geese? How you doing? I know, isn't this your first time also seeing 
a full grown adult in an origami kayak. Yo, Aaron, for the video, can you like paddle a little slower? I'm kidding. I'm not excited for the stability test. <gasps> Come on, boom. It only took us like five minutes to catch up to him. For speed, compared to all the other kayaks I've been on in my entire life, this was a solid, um, maybe, maybe a seven. Seven out of 10. The rudder is a little awkward, so it kind of drifted me towards one direction. Maybe I just assembled it wrong. That's probably it. Test number two. This will probably take the shortest amount of time. Don't worry guys, I don't plan on falling in the water for you guys. I know it's content, but I don't want to ruin all my gear just because you guys will think it's funny. But here goes the stability test. Now, I'm not really sure how the proper way to do this is, but I'm just gonna start like rocking back and forth Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, this is, whoa. It's not bad, like, I'm leaning this way. Oh, oh dear. I feel like if I went a little bit more, it would just capsize. Yo, honestly, this ain't bad. Okay, now we're gonna stand up. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So, for a foldable kayak, this stability is actually better than my regular kayak. So I would give this thing a solid nine out of 10. Although I probably wouldn't stand up in this. I wouldn't advise it at all. I already know I gave the stability a rating already, but I think we just gotta crash into these pads full speed and see how it handles it. Here we go. Oh yeah. See, there we go, there we go. Going to the thick of it, great. We didn't capsize. Also, I hope this head setup isn't too much for you guys. I look ridiculous. Oh man. Only content creators would wear something like this. And I'm not even a good one. Now, the third and most important area of testing. And also because we're doing kind of a competition right now. I'm not really contributing to Michael and I's team. I'm just here goofing off in this kayak while he's out there sweating and trying to Help us win. When I'm struggling to catch fish, especially when they're not eating a wacky rig or anything, I like to throw this little tightrope finesse jig. Got a crawl trailer on it. It's absolutely perfect. I like to throw it around the edge of these pads. Over here on my left side, if I can get it, is a white swim jig. And lastly, what I'm most excited about is here in the middle. Oh, this is gonna be so interesting. I got a massive spook. Oh, oh nice. Dude, uh, Hunter's got a fish. We really gotta get out there soon. I got a big spook in here. When the sun starts to set, a lot of these fish just love a loud, rattling, walking top water. Team John Boat, they already got a fish. Now, Team Weird Fishing Vessels has yet to land one, and I haven't even taken a cast yet. Oh, wow. Team John Boat has their second fish. That's a good one. Get him, boys. Let me paddle up to them and then you guys can see their catch because honestly that might be the only catch you see in this video because I don't know if I'm going to be catching any. That's what's up. Oh, watch it run. We've had three bites so far. Yeah? Caught two One in the boat, two in the boat. No, 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 no. Please, please let's not count him. <laughs> and believe it or not, that was the closest I came to a fish that day. After five hours of fishing, I got totally skunked. And the thing that makes me the most upset is that I have never been skunked on that lake before. So I woke up early five o'clock this morning, drove up to the same lake. It was closed, but luckily Michael had this lake right behind me. <laughs> but luckily Michael had this lake behind me as a backup. We're gonna consider this a sleeper lake. We've seen a lot of big fish caught out of here on social media, but not many people fish from a boat. They usually just bank fish. The kayak is already outfitted. This is the day of revenge on these bass. Alrighty, thank you. Yeah, pretty stylish, I would say so myself. Don't worry, we got our life jacket in the back. If a 50 pound bowfin comes flying out the water and it hits me across the face, I'll just make sure to grab it. Don't actually do what I'm doing, guys. Always wear your life jacket. Yo, honestly, I'm down to have a little 1v1 with Michael. Paddleboard versus foldable kayak. And if you guys were wondering who won yesterday's challenge, take a guess. <laughs> Justin and Hunter took the W. You down for a little 1v1? Alrighty, biggest bass. Hmm, I was fishing the shaded side for about an hour. 
but not a single bite. So we're gonna try over here where the sun is out at. There he is. No, oh, there's the bass. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Alrighty, I'll let you go. See you, buddy. Thank you so much. I started fishing yesterday and I didn't catch a fish until just now. I've been fishing for up to seven hours and that's the first fish I caught. Guys, that feels so good. What are the thoughts? For $400, I would say this is a good investment if you're someone who may not have enough storage at your house. But for the sake of your back, I would rather buy a paddle board or one of those hard kayaks and just get a nice seat with it. Um, maybe it's just because I was sitting in this thing wrong. We've tested how waterproof this thing is. Now let's test how fireproof it is. Oh. 